learners welcome to the video so we are studying the discovery of subatomic particles so in this video we learn about the atomic models proposed for the structure of atoms after the discovery of subatomic particles different atomic models were proposed to explain the distribution of these charged particles in an atom jj thompson in 1898 proposed that an atom possesses a spherical shape in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed and electrons are embedded into it to give it a stable electrostatic arrangement many different names are given to this model for example plum pudding raisin pudding or watermelon This model was not consistent with the results of Rutherford gold foil experiment. Rutherford and his students conducted an experiment in which a stream of high energy alpha particles from a radioactive source was directed at a thin foil which had a thickness of about 100 Nm of gold metal. The thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it. Whenever alpha particles struck the screen a tiny flash of light was produced at that point it was observed that on the basis of the observations the following conclusions were drawn on the basis of above observations and conclusions rutherford proposed the nuclear model of atom according to this model the positive charge and most of the mass of the atom was densely concentrated in extremely small region this very small portion of the atom is called nucleus by rutherford the nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed in circular paths called orbits like planets revolve around sun electrons and the nucleus are held together by electrostatic forces of attraction the number of protons present in the nucleus is equal to atomic number z atomic number z is equal to number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is equal to number of electrons in a neutral atom protons and neutrons present in the nucleus are collectively known as nucleons and the total number of nucleons is termed as mass number of the atom mass number atom is equal to number of protons z plus number of neutrons n isobars are the atoms with same mass number but different atomic number atoms with identical atomic number but different atomic mass number are called isotopes the similarity between the solar system and the nuclear model suggest that electrons should move around the nucleus in well defined orbits an electron in the nuclear model orbits is under acceleration now according to the electromagnetic theory of maxwell charged particles when accelerated should emit electromagnetic radiation this feature does not exist for planets since they are uncharged therefore an electron in an orbit will emit radiation the energy carried by radiation comes from electronic motion the orbit will thus continue to shrink but this does not happen thus the rutherford model cannot explain the stability of an atom another serious drawback of the rutherford model is that it says nothing about distribution of the electrons around the nucleus and the energies of these electrons so this is all about today's lesson in the next video we learn about the developments leading to bohr's atomic model till then goodbye and keep learning